everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful week. Uh, this week, I wanted to talk about why uh, anytime someone on Twitter uh, comes out and says that they were just diagnosed autistic, uh, I always, if I see that, make a point to either comment or retweet a, a, a congratulations. Um, and I want to tell you why. Uh, you know, some people might think this is kind of funny because generally when someone gets a medical diagnosis, you would not um, publicly congratulate them, um, except for maybe pregnancy. Uh, yeah, there's not a lot of circumstances where you would congratulate, congratulate someone for, the, for a, a medical diagnosis. Um, but, you know, for me, when I was first diagnosed uh, autistic, it's been a few years back now, um, but as an adult in my late 20s, it was for me almost a bit like a birthday, um, the start, uh, beginning of a new journey, um, reviewing my past experiences and even my life moving forward with new and fresh eyes, um, it's, it's, it was kind of like, you know, everyone else had the instruction manual for life handed to them and I was missing mine and mine seemed to have different information and pages than the, than everyone else's. And someone finally gave me my manual. I finally have my handbook. Um, that just kind of explains everything about me and, um, just a lot of the, questions uh, that I've been answering. It's like, you know, when you have a vehicle, like we have this RV, uh, we have this giant book that you get out anytime you need to know how to fix something or troubleshoot. Uh, and really, for me, that autistic diagnosis was my diagnostic manual to troubleshoot myself. Um, and, you know, the, the beginning of that self-discovery journey and just relearning who I am um, through that new lens. It was something that for me was very powerful. Um, but, you know, it can also be information that can be really shocking and shake someone up. And so if when they try to come out and share this, they're met with um, negativity and um, just a diff you know, people meet them and it's, it's a different, it's not happy and accepting. Um, people are just beat down and they, it puts, you know, it's starting off in a bad mindset and it doesn't have to be a bad thing. It, 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 it can be very empowering depending on, you know, what you do with the information. Uh, and so that's why, you know, whenever I see someone who's recently been diagnosed, I always do say congratulations because I, I mean it. I really do mean it. Uh, and I hope that the diagnosis and the information is something that empowers them as they continue with their life moving forward with uh, fresh eyes. Uh, so anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I do put out new videos fairly regularly, so be sure to subscribe uh, so you don't miss them. Thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you next time. Bye!